Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you how you can improve your output quality when you're going to be uploading a YouTube video from DaVinci Resolve 18. So if you take a look at my VLC media player right here, you can see that with a standard YouTube 180p export, that this particular image from a video I was just working on uh, does not get good quality in its output. And that's because this first part here is about particle effects and there's a lot of stuff going on on the screen. So you do need a higher output bit rate in order for this to look correct. And as you can see on YouTube, the poor quality still transfers over as you can see on screen right there. So if you're exporting your video and you run into this kind of problem, rather than using the YouTube 180p exporter, which has a direct upload to YouTube, what you're going to want to do is use custom export. And when you're using custom export, you can still use the YouTube settings, as you can see down here at the bottom. If you expand this category and you check upload directly to YouTube, you can still do chapters and markers, but the difference is in the quality. So you can still do a MP4 or a dot move video, but when it comes to quality, go ahead and select automatic and best for your quality. And this will make sure that your video gets exported at a higher quality, a higher bit rate, so that it still looks good on YouTube. So if you want to switch your video format, just go to this drop down, MP4, give it the title up here, just like normal, your video title that will be uploaded to YouTube down here if you're going to be using automatic upload. Add the render queue, render it. And if we take a look here at the two versions that I exported for this video, you have the YouTube 180p, you can see the total file size 366 megabytes. And then the one with custom export best settings, you can see is about 650 megabytes. So let's open this up and you'll see the difference. So let's go ahead and show this in the last couple seconds for the first part. This is about where it would have been blurry and you can see it looks good here. Also, when there's a lot of particles on the screen right around here, it still looks good. So that's basically how you can solve the quality problems and still get your videos uploaded to YouTube since in Resolve 18, they still have the YouTube settings down here. So just don't use YouTube 180p. If you need higher quality, go to custom export and set the quality to automatic best. And that's basically the simplest way you can get the good video quality on YouTube. By the way, if you need a higher resolution, you can change it here as well if you're not just using 180p. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and I will see all of you in my future video content.